Hi friends, we are going to discuss the adjuvants. What are the adjuvants and what is the importance of the adjuvants and what are the consequences when, our, when we are using the adjuvants along with the antigens. Coming to the definition of the adjuvants, the term adjuvant is obtained from the Latin language, derived from the Latin language which means to help. That is, adjuvants are the substances which help in eliciting the appropriate immune response. That is, whenever we use a particular antigen, otherwise whenever we introduce a particular antigen into the individual, it elicits a particular amount of, particular degree of immunogenicity or immune response. If the same antigen, if it is introduced along with the adjuvant, it helps in enhancing the degree of the immune response. That is, adjuvant, that means the to help. It has been derived from the Latin language. So, how we can define the adjuvant is, adjuvant is a substance, whenever it is mixed with the antigen, it enhances the elicitation of the immune response. So, these adjuvants are used with the antigens and they have the clinical significance. We will detect various uh, clinical symptoms along by using the adjuvants. For example, <coughs> BSA is a normal protein, bovine serum albumin, which has been extracted from the cattle. Bovine means cattle. Now, if it is directly introduced into an organism, it elicits some X amount of, say, X degree of immune response. If the same BSA, in the same quantity, if it is introduced into the organism along with the adjuvant, along with the adjuvant, if we mix an appropriate adjuvant with the BSA and both of them introduced into the individual, then thereby there will be an enhancement of 5 degrees of, otherwise 5 fold increase in the immunogenicity. That indicates that along the BSA, it elicits less immune response when compared to when it is injected with, when it is introduced with the, along with the adjuvant. Thereby, we obtain five folds of the enhancement in the immunogenicity. Now, how the adjuvants can elicit more and more amount of, more and more degree of immunogenicity? Basically, the mechanisms are not yet clear till today. There is no uh, revealing of the mechanism behind the adjuvants, adjuvants activity. But whenever the scientists studied the basic uh, adjuvants like synthetic polyribonucleotides and bacterial lipopolysaccharides, these adjuvants, they act like the ligands on the macrophages and as well as the dendritic cells. Thereby, they activate the antigen presenting cells like the dendritic cells and the macrophages. They have toll like receptors on their surface and these toll like receptors, they provide accommodation to that of the synthetic polyribonucleotides, otherwise bacterial lipopolysaccharides, that kind of adjuvants and thereby they enhance the immune response. That is, there is an interaction in between the adjuvants and the toll-like receptors which are present, which found on the surface of the dendritic cells and macrophages and thereby that leads to the enhancement in the uh, evoking the immune response. That leads to the activation of the innate immune response of the individual into which we administer the adjuvant along with the antigens. Then, what happens? When we inject, when we introduce an adjuvant along with the antigen, 
there are the four things to be happen so this is the functional status of the adjuvant the first and foremost one is the antigen persistence is prolonged whenever you introduce a particular antigen into a particular individual then it directly acts upon the immune system it stimulates the immune system it evokes the immune system for a little span of time if the same antigen if it is mixed with the adjuvant then inserted introduced into the individual the adjuvant makes there is a persistence release persistence continuous action continuous stimulation of the immune system that is the persistence is prolonged whenever we add the adjuvant to the antigen and also co stimulatory signals are enhanced the signals which are responsible for elicitation of immune response they are also enhanced and local inflammation is increased inflammation it is a, it is not at all the pathological symptom it is a sign of active immune response where any foreign antigen if it is introduced into the body of the individual there will be a lymphatic traffic where all the cells of lymphatic system they come and contact at the site of injury other is the site of attack and thereby the accumulation of all the cells leads to the local inflammation whenever there is a local inflammation that is accumulation of all the kinds of lymphatic cells immune cells that leads to the enhancement of the immune response and the fourth one there will be proliferation of non specific lymphocytes there is a stimulation of non specific lymphocyte proliferation that is non specific means it may be somewhat related to innate immunity so all the lymphocytes they undergo proliferation in general but the proliferation speed proliferation rate is stimulated whenever you use adjuvant along with them antigen so the four things to be remembered antigen persistence is prolonged co stimulatory signals are enhanced local inflammation is increased and there will be a non specific proliferation of lymphocytes is stimulated then coming to the various examples in relation to the adjuvants so there are three best of best examples as we know first one is the alum or alum precipitate second one is the friends incomplete antigen fia and third one is the friends complete antigen so this is a modified form of the friends incomplete antigen is the friends complete antigen first one is the alum that is aluminum potassium sulfate is the common name of the alum chemical name of the alum whenever you mix the alum as the adjuvant to an antigen it mix with the antigen it forms the precipitation of the antigen the alum salt that is aluminum potassium sulfate the alum salt whenever it is mixed with the appropriate antigen it precipitates the antigen so if the antigen is soluble it shows mere effect on the immune system if it is precipitated what happens there is a slower release of the antigen slow release of antigen enhances the span of time that evokes the immune system so there is a slower release of immune system antigen whenever it is get precipitated with the alum and thereby the exposure time how much time the antigen is in contact with the immune system the span of time the contact time in between the immune system and the antigen is enhanced or increased and at the same time during the due to the nature of the alum salt there will be enhancement in the size of the antigen that is the molecular size of the antigen is increased and thereby that leads to the phagocyte easy phagocytosis of the antigen if the antigen is very small soluble thereby there is no likelihood of the phagocytosis whenever it is mixed with the adjuvant like the alum precipitate the antigen will be enhanced in its size and the enhanced antigen macromolecule easily susceptible for the 
phagocytosis. So this is the importance of the alum whenever we use the alum as the adjuvant. So what are the things? The salt precipitates the antigen. There will be a slower release of the antigen towards the immune system. Exposure time of the antigen towards the immune system is increased. And finally, antigen size is increased. It is the likelihood of the phagocytosis process. This is about the alum. So, we can see in the picture, the alum precipitate, 100 ml bottle. Now, the second one is the Friends Incomplete Adjuvant. Julie Friends was the scientist who discovered this adjuvant. And now, we discuss the alum as the precipitate antigen, which precipitates the antigen. But here it is a incomplete antigen in the form of water in oil adjuvant. Previously that was a precipitate, but here it is a water in oil adjuvant. What is there in the water in oil adjuvant? We will use the antigen in the soluble condition. Antigen is in the aqueous solution. In the pre alum precipitate, it is the precipitate. Antigen get precipitated. But here we will use aqueous solution as the antigen. Now, we will add mineral oil to that of the antigen. And we can also add a particular emulsifying agent which is called as a manide monoelate. That is, alum precipitate is a precipitate anti precipitation, uh, precipitating adjuvant. Whereas here it is, we are using the oil, water in oil adjuvant. Where we will use the antigen in the aqueous solution. We will add the mineral oil. And also we use an emuls emulsifying agent. That is a manide monoelate. So what is the manide monoelate which acts like the uh, emulsifying agent? That is, it disperses the entire antigen into the small droplets of the oil. That is, antigen is in the middle and that is surrounded by the manide monoelate, which is the emulsifying agent and that leads to the slow release of the antigen. That leads to the slow release of the antigen, thereby more span of time the antigen comes in contact with the immune system that leads to the enhancement of the immune response. So, the second, third one is the complete antigen. See, this is the bottle of incomplete adjuvant. Friends, incomplete adjuvant, uh, the quantification is 2 ml. And then, the third one is the friends complete adjuvant. It is the modified form of the uh, incomplete adjuvant. In order to elicit more immune response, so the composition is somewhat modified. The composition of the incomplete adjuvant, friends incomplete adjuvant is somewhat modified by the Julius friend. In this, he used heat killed mycobacterium. Mycobacterium species is added with that of the antigen because the bacterial cell wall contains muramyl dipeptide and the uh, a component muramyl dipeptide which is present in the bacterial cell wall that activates the dendritic cells and the macrophages of the body of the individual. Right? In order to induce more response, in order to elicit more response from the individual's immune system, instead of incomplete adjuvant as formulated as the modified formulation of the incomplete adjuvant is the complete adjuvant, friends complete adjuvant FCA, where he used heat killed mycobacterium. The cell wall of all the bacteria they have the muramyl dipeptide which activates the general uh, antigen presenting cells like the dendritic cells and as well as the macrophages. So thereby by using these heat killed mycobacterium the complete adjuvant act like the more potent adjuvant than the incomplete form. So that they have formulated a modified adjuvant. This is the friends complete adjuvant. So this is the bottle of the uh, complete adjuvant. Friends complete adjuvant. And also we extensively use these adjuvants in the vaccine formulation. In the vaccine formulation whenever we use we uh, expect these, uh, these uh, qualities from the vaccine adjuvant. See 
makes the vaccine more cost effective because few doses are responsible few doses are uh, enough and effective innate immune signals and including danger signals and good immunomodulatory capacity high specific antibody product production antigen specific clonal expansion generation of toxic uh, cytotoxic t cells and long lasting adaptive immune response makes antigen more potent because less doses are required that is whenever we using the uh, vaccine in the form of the inactivated antigen during that time if you add an appropriate adjuvant it uh, reveals the all these activities then we can also uh, compare the various adjuvants and their components along with their mode of actions so that is the bcg triple antigen bacillus calamitic gerin that is then the friends complete adjuvant alum and mf59 all these are the best adjuvants to be used to enhance the immune responses that is we have discussed while discussing the while the uh, uh, adjuvants is going on during that time what is the definition of the adjuvants and importance of the adjuvants and how they can and enhance or induce the immune responses and the types of adjuvants in the form of alum precipitate or alum friends incomplete adjuvant and the complete adjuvant and nowadays the adjuvants are also used in the formulating vaccines and thereby we enhance and bring out the uh, appropriate significant immune responses so this is all about adjuvants thank you